Hello again. Um, this time I thought I'd try and show you a little um, few tricks about manipulating um, digital images for use on cards. Um, this site that's showing on my computer at the minute is the Hungry JPEG and this particular page uh, when I logged in there's me at the top um, and that's where I can find all the images and um, fonts that I've purchased through this site. They're all on this page and I can download them whenever. So um, I think I'll just try today with these small bird watercolours. So I only click on the download button and it comes here onto the bottom of my screen and while it is downloading there's a little uh, blue deep blue line that goes around and around and around until um, the whole thing is actually downloaded. Uh, it says it is zip. It says zip at the end and that's just a sign to say that this file can't be used in its present condition. It has to be opened, it has to be released. Whatever was in there has been compressed so that it can be downloaded more quickly if it would take forever, I think, otherwise. So it's um, it's constricted, zipped up. And so once it's um, been downloaded into my computer, I have to unzip it to be able to use it and manipulate it. And it's still going round, round and round. Whoops. 34 something megabytes. I don't know what that means, do you? I am not the world's techie guru. I haven't got a clue really. I know just about enough to get me um, around doing what I, I want to do. I used to uh, make worksheets and stuff like that for the children when I was at school many moons ago and um, I haven't forgotten some of the things I used to have to do there but uh, oh goodness it is going slowly. Tell you what, let's let's start with with um, with Word, and we can use something else. I'll come back to do that in a moment. Here's my Word. It's Word 2013. We'll open a blank document, and here we are. This page has jumped up, and the setting down in the bottom right-hand corner down here says 128%. Um, and I, I guess they do that so that it's a reasonable size for, for you to see, because it's not a huge laptop. Uh, but I like to work with my screen, my screen showing a paper size, which is the exact size that I'm going to actually be printing onto. And I'm printing onto A4. This is half a sheet of A4, so the width of A4 is that. And can you see it's, it's bigger. So I'm going to reduce the size of the visible page so that I know exactly what I'm working with. So to do that, I have to go up to the View tab up here, click on that, then I go over to Zoom. Can you see all this? I hope you can see all this. Let's do that. That better. Zoom. And if I bring the zoom down to 118%, then the page size I see is the page size I'll be working with. So that's that. Now we could just, um, I can see by looking at my uh, Chrome thing here, that that um, download is still downloading. So it must be bigger than I thought. Anyway, we will use something else for the moment. So um, to start with, I'm just going to put whatever it is in this top corner. I'm not going to position it where I want on the card. Just for the moment, I'm just going to show you how I do manipulate a few images. So let's put some in to start with. Um, I always put them into text boxes because text boxes, I can move wherever I want on the page. So here we go. Insert shapes. And the first one that pops in is the text box. It's there. So I will in make a text box. In fact, I think I will make 
two text boxes. Oops two text boxes and now I've made my screen go smaller haven't I let's go back to view back to zoom take it up to 118 because yours will be different it won't be 118 most probably my last lap laptop was a different um, proportion so there we go back to the size I'm going to be working with okay I think I just I don't know, I moved something on my touchpad, I haven't got a clue. So I'm going to um, make both of these transparent because if I want to put one image over the top of the other, I don't want one box to cover up what's in the other one. So if I make them both transparent, we should be able to see through whichever way round I put them. Because whichever way they go, this one, which I drew first, would always be at the back. This one, if I put it over there, it would cover that one up. They always go um, starting at the back and building up as you would if you were putting papers onto a pile on a table or whatever. So I'm going to make them both trans transparent, both highlighted. I'm going to go to the Format tab. Here is a section called Shape Styles. I'm going to click on the corner, go to Fill transparency up to 100%. Now both of these are going to be transparent. Okay, pop my cursor into this one and I'm going to put, um, what should I put into it? Let's go insert pictures. I'm going to use a download. Here are my downloads. Um, Let's look down. There's some flowers here. Let's have a look at these. Here we go, Here's some flowers. What have we got? Pretty flowers. They're rather pretty, aren't they? They're water, watercolour images. Um, I'm getting carried away. Let's put one of these in. There it is. Um, and if I'm going to put two together, I'd like to make it so that um, one of them was sort of leaning out a bit. So if you see here, this one's got a little handle on the top. I can grab hold of that. I'm holding down the, my left click button, whatever that is. And I'm just going to turn that slightly to the left so that it's going to look a bit prettier. Now, into my second box. And I'm going to put another one, insert, uh, pictures. And because I was just using that file, that's what's come back for me, which is very considerate of it, isn't it really? So there's another one of those there. So let's try this chap. There he is. And to be honest, that one looks like it might look better on this. Let's go back and move this one and take it slightly to the right. Let's move the box over, the outside box. And this one, we'll move it over here. But can you see, I want him to be turned a bit more, so I'm grabbing that handle, turning it a little bit. There we go. I think I'll turn that a bit more. And this one, just take. I think I want to move. If I want to move him higher, I'm going to have to use grab the text box. If I want to rotate him, I've got to use the actual box that he's in. There we go. I don't think that looks quite nice, don't you? Right. Let's just have a look and see what other pictures there were there. If there was a leaf or something, I can't remember if it was a leaf. Insert pictures. Takes us back to the flowers. Are there any leaves? No, there aren't any leaves. Um, I could use one of those buttons. Let's try this one. Let's have one of these. Let me go back. I should have made a box for him, shouldn't I? Insert pictures. No, I don't want that. Cancel. Insert shapes text box that's what I want another text box 
and I'm going to have to make him transparent too. So format, shape styles, he's highlighted, transparent there. So he's transparent. So let's put that one in. Insert pictures. Where was he? That's the one I wanted. Put him in there. Okay. Now let's bring this over here. And let's turn this one so we let's get this box. There we go. Move him just about like that. Okay. Now that looks quite a nice little arrangement. This is just a, an, an example really to show you how you move the things together. So now what I need to do is to get rid of all these box lines. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to grab the first one. Keeping that shift down, I can add the boxes together and I've got all three highlighted. So up to format, down to shape outline, no outline. So there's a little arrangement. So that's how I've manipulated some of those um, images that I downloaded onto my page. Um, th this one has finished downloading now, so I'll show you what I do. Here it is. Where's it gone? There we can't open it. I'll have to do look at that later. I don't know what that's all about. But at least you saw what um, what you do about um, manipulating those um, images once you've got them in your um, downloaded file. Okay. I hope <laughs> hope it helped a little bit. Um, I'll sort out what happens to that other. Um, so I, I keep downloading images that my system, my Microsoft system, can't open because I don't know enough about it. So I think that may be what has happened there, but we will see. But so thanks for watching and I hope you've gained a, just a little glimmer from it and uh, I'll talk to you again.